So where could you find hidden apps on your Android phone? Let's get into it. So there are more places where you might want to look for it, but generally speaking, if you just scroll through your app drawer, like the list of all of your apps, try to find if there isn't anything like a secure folder. And this is a feature of Samsung Galaxy phones, but it's possible that some other Androids have that too. And inside of there, you essentially can set up a, a passcode protection and hide some files, right? So it doesn't even show it in my screen recording there. But just check it out generally to see if uh, you cannot find something that you would need or want. But other than that, there are some other things you might want to look into. So... A lot of times, the other thing outside of the secure folder, which allows people to hide apps, is a launcher. So, for example, there is this popular launcher called Nova Launcher. And using this app, it's essentially a skin over your existing operating system. So you can see it looks a little bit different. But what this allows you to do is to modify and hide things in here. So if I just grab the clock icon, for example, and click on edit, I can entirely change the name of the app. So I can rename it to, for example, maps, right? So, you know, it's going to be different. And also the icon can be changed by either some photo you have in your gallery, but you can also just grab a different icon from a different app. So I can scroll through them like this and find whichever thing I want uh, like that. And I'm just kind of looking for the maps, which is uh, right there. So I can click on it. And essentially, I have an icon which look like, looks like maps, but when I open it, it's a clock, right? So using a launcher, that's the point. Using a launcher like this, you can easily just hide apps and rename it, change the icons and, you know, you just want to make sure that you're not looking through the apps through a launcher. And for that, essentially just open up the settings app and go to the apps view like that and click on default apps. And for the home app, you just want to choose your built-in home app and not the Nova launcher or some other launcher. And this is now allowing you to see the apps. As you can see, here are the legit apps. You cannot change them or tweak them, hide them or anything like that. So this is to make sure that you can see only the real apps. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know below in the comments about that. Most definitely subscribe and hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the future videos.